Another day, another air quality alert across the region from wildfire smoke thousands of miles away in Canada. As investigative reporter Jonah Kaplan explains, our impact here is nothing compared to the latest emergency for our neighbors to the north. Thursday and Friday's air quality alerts in the city of Minneapolis, number 16, number 17 on the year. That's a record. That means more than two weeks this summer, Canadian wildfires affecting our quality of life. Across the state of Minnesota, we're at more than 40 air quality alerts. That's also a record. Speaking to Canadian authorities, their wildfire seasons, they could last sometimes until the fall. So officials are warning we could be dealing with this smoke. They could be dealing with more states of emergency, potentially into October. Every Canadian province and territory is affected, but the most immediate threat to people's lives is in the Northwest Territories. Nearly 30,000 people urge to leave their homes. It is extreme. We have over 200 fires burning currently across the territory. The smoke clouds now in the Twin Cities are the same ones from the city of Yellowknife. That's a distance of more than 2,000 miles, the same distance from Minneapolis to Mexico City. According to officials, firefighters are working overtime to keep the fire away from the territory's lone major highway. We need grocery trucks. We need fuel. We need that kind of stuff to keep coming so that we can keep fighting these fires. Nearly 6,000 fires have now burned since May across all of Canada, scorching a combined area that's bigger than Wisconsin. There is some good news out east. More rain and more humidity in Quebec and Ontario. Out west, it's still way too hot and dry. Moisture is really the, the story here that we're waiting for. In Yellowknife, residents first wait for the next flight out. They don't know how long the wait will be before they can come home. Jonah Kaplan, WCCO News. There has been at least one death in the Northwest Territories this year. A firefighter became the first fatality in more than 50 years.